What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to another video. Breaking news. The Dallas Cowboys have finally found their defensive coordinator after Dan Quinn went to Washington. It is a former head coach, and that's what they were looking for. Let's talk about it. Well, welcome back. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Cowboys content. We're going to be here all offseason reacting to some of the biggest news, hopefully acquisitions and, and so on and so forth leading up to the regular season that we have coming up here. But the Dallas Cowboys, uh, they finally found their man. And uh, obviously, like I said, DQ went to Washington. So now we there was a vacant spot. A lot of names were out there, right? Al Harris, uh, Joe Witt Jr., uh, the passing game coordinator for the defense. However, he followed Dan Quinn, uh, and I'm pretty sure if he would have stayed, boom, he would have been the defensive coordinator, and that would have kept some sort of continuity. Uh, but no, DQ convinced him to jump on board with him to Washington. So then you look at other players, right? You look at other coaches that could potentially fill in that spot. Al Harris was a name that was rumored. Uh, what, well, they actually never interviewed him, believe it or not. But it was actually really funny, though, because uh, DQ was still trying to – well, I, I think he's still trying to poach some of his coaches and some of the former staff that he had here in Dallas. And uh, the Dallas Cowboys completely vetoed that. Uh, Washington wanted to communicate with Al Harris, and Dallas <laughs> shut that down, which is very – that never happens. That never happens. Usually the Cowboys are very – nonchalant about it they're like go ahead interview our guys and always you know they go and they you know take the the better job or whatever whatever you call it uh but no they shut that down <laughs> with uh talking to al harris which i'm grateful for that uh I, th I think that's a really good decision so then you have rex ryan you know former jets bills head coach he was interviewed uh then you had ron rivera come in former head coach for the Washington Commanders. And then a name that came on the list was former head coach for the Minnesota Vikings, Mike Zimmer. And spoiler alert, it was Mike Zimmer that they settled on and they have chosen Mike Zimmer. And I'm telling you right now, it's because of the ties that he had with the Dallas Cowboys going back from 1994 to 2006. That was the main reason. And I'll tell you what, I, I really liked what Mike Zimmer did in those earlier days. Kind of comes from a Bill Parcells coaching tree. And, you know, I love Bill Parcells. Bill Parcells saved the Dallas Cowboys. And that's a whole different conversation for a whole nother time. But Bill Parcells saved this franchise and everyone... When you talk about the history of the Dallas Cowboys, you have to mention Bill Parcells and what he did in the early 2000s. And Mike Zimmer spent a lot of time within that organization. Now, it's dating back to 94. So uh, from 94, you know, you had Jimmy Johnson, Barry Switzer, Dave Campo, Chain Gailey. So there's a little bit of a lineage that he went through. But now he did leave. Mike Zimmer did leave the Dallas Cowboys, you know, being the defensive coordinator for the Cincinnati Bengals at some point, and then obviously seven seasons with the Minnesota Vikings, and um, was pretty successful, 72 wins, 56 losses, and one tie, uh, one of the most winningest coaches in Minnesota Vikings history, um, two and three in the postseason. Um, albeit though, there was that one game against the Seattle Seahawks that, I mean, <laughs> that's out of the coach's hands. I mean, I, what I like about Zimmer and, you know, you probably seen the clips resurface and, you know, circulate around, you know, social media and whatnot. He's a tough coach. He's a tough coach. He's a disciplined head coach. Uh, and I think that's exactly what this team needs. And you know what? I'm really looking forward to a defensive coordinator being back on the field. I know DQ saw the game a little bit different from the booth up there, but I'm really excited to finally have a D, you know, defensive coordinator on the field. I, I don't know how that's you know going to affect the situation, but for me as a fan. I like to see that. And so that's going to be something cool that's going to be seen up there. At least I, I think Mike Zimmer is going to be, I mean, he's 67, so I don't know. But, I, you know, he's going to. But anyways, let's talk about this. And I want to hear what your thoughts are, what you comment, comment down below, what you think about this whole situation. I think out of all the candidates that I just mentioned and the ones that they interviewed, this was the best of the bunch. This was the best choice that you could have made. 
with the decisions that you had. I definitely didn't want it to be Ron Rivera, and I thought it was going to be, but they actually did their due diligence, and they brought in multiple candidates for an interview. So that was actually really surprising because usually the Cowboys have some, you know, they have someone set in mind and then, you know, they, they interview a few, you know, assistants and secondary coaches. And, you know, we, we wait a week before we finally land on the person that we all thought it was going to land on. But no, they, they, they did their due diligence and Mike Zimmer's name came up and I didn't think it would. Um, and then Rex Ryan, you know, his name came up and I didn't think it would. So I I definitely have to tip my hat to the organization for actually going out there, having interviews and looking for something. Now, that's as positive as I can be. (laughs) I think it was the best of the bunch. I think Mike Zimmer, like I said, he's a tough head coach. Uh, He's a tough coach. And I really do like that they were looking for someone with head coaching experience. And it's a very interesting situation for any coordinator because it's a one-year deal. Uh, Mike's Mike McCarthy's not getting uh, his contract extension or at least, you know, for this year going into the final year, Dak Prescott's extension is still up in the air. So and it's really weird. I really wanted to say this when it happened too. it's funny, the fascination that the Cowboys have had with these head coaches that take time away from the game and they want them to come back. And I don't know if Mike Zimmer was still, you know, coaching in a, in a co- college or any kind of other capacity, but he took a couple of years off after his time with the Minnesota Vikings. Um, same thing with Mike McCarthy when he was fired from Green Bay. He had that year off and then came back to it. So the Cowboys really value that because this is another hire where they're doing exactly that. Um, and, and like I said, that's as positive I'm, as I'm going to be here. There's really not much I can say uh, other than that. You know, I, 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 I like the difference that Zimmer's going to bring with this toughness and him being disciplined and being hard with the guys. And I think that's something that this team really needs. And, and it's just going to be interesting to see how that dynamic works. <laughs> it's going to be, it, can the players, you know, can, can our players gel well with that? That's going to be interesting to see. It's a very small component to all of it, but you got our young locker room and you got the Dallas Cowboys culture is that going to gel well with the defense? And I think on paper, you think of, you know, Mike Zimmer, like bringing this hard culture defensively in the talented players that we have, you would hope on paper that it would come together and be this incredible explosion and marriage between the two. But on the other hand, it could completely implode and not be what we want it to be. So, um, yeah, like I said, best of the bunch. So I can't complain, but I do have my reservations about how this is going to work, um, especially with the lack of continuity, right? So I don't I don't know, man. And I'm going to be honest because I'm always unbiased and realistic with you guys. I, I'm in a tough situation, and I'm going to just say this. I, I don't feel too good about this year. Uh, there's a, you know... <laughs> I don't feel too good about this year. It just, I think there's a lot of, they're, they're trying to run it back and I don't see how you get better after what we did the past three seasons, take that step forward. But now the pressure's turned up and, you know, and, and and to bring in a defensive coordinator on basically a one year deal and say, Hey, you need to do more with this defensive coordinator than you did with the past three seasons with Dan Quinn, even though you were high in the league with takeaways and, you know, yada, yada, yada. So that's, I don't, you know, all I can say is we'll see best of the bunch of the choices of the options that were there. What I mentioned, I'm worried about the collaboration between our young players and an older head coach who is 67. We'll see how that works out. On paper, I like the idea, but we've seen situations play out where it doesn't happen. So I'm not going to get too excited about this, and I'm not going to get too pessimistic about it. Um, I'm going to say glad they did their due due diligence. And you comment down below. You let me know. I'm excited to hear what you said, but we found our defensive coordinator, and let's just go from there. Let's 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 move forward from there. But I will see you guys later. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Go Cowboys. Prescott.